What's up, everybody? Pack opening attic. So <clears throat> I started to kind of have a little trend where I like to pick up a couple of pre-release kits and pop these open and just kind of have fun with it, right? Have fun with some draft packs. Like in a set like this, I really don't think I'm going to pick up really hardly any draft packs, even though, yes, the draft experience is awesome in the set. Um, yeah, I may pick up one or two. But overall, in the channel, I'm going to open more set and collectors, right? <clears throat> so, yep, that's a, that's a dice. And it rolled off. Okay. Doesn't matter. So, I'd like to pick a couple up because I kind of like to see a little bit of what we get. Yeah, well, I already, already blew it. All right, so we're going to start first with the Galvanic Iteration Foil. And behind here, I know there wasn't anything too important from what I've seen on other channels. Okay, so we got six packs out of this one. Let's see how we do. All right, so we have some commons, and these are draft packs, so I could probably just skip these, although that is a benefit of draft packs, isn't it? At least as far as the channel goes. Uh, Vivisection, Obsessive Astronomer, Spell Rune Howler. Okay, then we got old stick fingers, and that is the uh, showcase artwork. Okay, kind of cool. And we have an awesome forest. Okay. So obviously people weren't like super pumped for this set heading into it. You know, I still think there was a lot of wallet fatigue going on there. And but are people starting to get pumped up for it? I feel like they are. Okay, and we got Geist Flame Reservoir. Okay. I still don't really know what is going to be the huge hits like will Renin 7 stay a huge hit probably but teferi looks awesome have to admit kind of hope to pull a teferi departed soul keeper huh so we need some spirit action devoted graft oh wait that's weird so it was that and a sludge monster I did a set box, and on the, in the set box, it was the, the devoted draft keeper are faced up. I guess in the draft, it was the other way around. I, I don't know. I don't get it. <clears throat> Either way. Dual craft trainer. Storm Skrelix. Skrelix. Denic Pious Apprentice, which looks like a pretty cool card. And Denic Pious Apparition. Okay. What cards is everybody excited about in this set, like specifically? And that's the question. Intrepid Adversaries. I think the Adversaries are really neat. So that's our first mythic of the group here. Okay, all right, let's see how we do. Turn the Earth, Contortionist Troop, Spell Rune Howler in the traditional artwork, and Slogurk, the Overslime. All right, that is pack number one. Let's get into pack number two here. Oh, now we got a green die. Okay, I'm going to do this the... Okay, well, at least we got the awesome Augur of Autumn, okay, in the stamped uh, pre-release thing. It's stuck to the bottom of it. I meant to leave it on the bottom and then move it to the side, and then it's stuck to the packs. And it flipped upright, and I'm like, eh, okay, well... 
I guess I'm gonna show it now. Okay, I think there's something spicy in the back, but I could be completely wrong. Bloodthirst, uh, Bloodthirsty Adversary. So that is our second adversary. Village Watch. And I was completely wrong. The artwork on the made it look like a borderless something, but I should have known. I should have known at the moment of stupidity or hoping or something. Okay, yeah, seen that. Ludovic, Necro Genius. So Mr. Ludovic is back. And this time it becomes Olag, Ludovic's Hubris. Okay. So you get uh, one of the make your own cards in the back of every single one of these? Why is that? I mean, I'm not complaining, it's, it's cool. Just, just wondering. Vanquish the Horde. All right, so we got Arcane Infusion, Dawnheart Mentor, Root Coil Creeper, and Reckless Stormseeker. Which becomes Storm Charge Slasher. Defenestrate. All right, two packs left. Can we get one more Mythic? You know, I don't know if anybody watched the the Magic Historian. He uh, well well before these actually released, his local LGS let him open one of these that was kind of completely damaged, and the thing was beefy as can be. And then people were like, fraudulent video, it's fake. And I was like, what, what, what about any of that was fake? All right, the Celestis. Made no sense to me. Yeah, it was kind of crazy for a pre-release kit. <laughs> it was definitely the best one I've ever seen in my life. Um, Delver of Secrets, cool. Hey, all right, we did get another Mythic. So we got the Sigardian uh, Savior. Awesome. All right, so we're going to finish out on a... On a oh, and a Foil Forest. All right, not too shabby. Well, so that's two pre-release kits. If, you know, I don't really have any thoughts right now. I think I think the set is... Uh, I think it's going to like slowly gain some popularity. I think people, once they start playing it, they're going to really dig it. And... Uh, I think it's going to really jump into gear when Crimson Vow comes out. I think that's going to be the big key, is that once you have both Innistrad sets, um, these are going to become really popular for a period. So that's going to be cool to watch. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.